Hello people and welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time on the channel, a special welcome to you. I'd say you check out the rest of my videos. If you like what you see, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment, but more than anything, I'm asking that you subscribe to the channel. Today's video is pretty much what's reflected on my thumbnail of me asking a question, how can there be any water crisis in Jamaica? I mean, I would say over the last two or three weeks, every time I look into the Jamaican news, I see some entertainer giving out water and then out gifts to the people. So I didn't really think much of it. I just thought entertainers were actually just giving back water to the people because the summer was on, everybody was out and about and sweating. I didn't actually realize that it was a crisis in Jamaica and some people are in dire need of water. Here's how I feel about this situation. I am annoyed because this is a long-standing problem in Jamaica. Take it way back to about 30 years ago when I was a child in Jamaica growing up and there has always been water crisis. I lived in the corporate area, Kingston and St. Andrew, and there's always a water crisis in Jamaica and I'm talking about 30 years ago. 30 years later, now that I'm an adult and I understand these things better, I will view it with intense criticism because Jamaican government needs to do better and I'm not just blaming the current government I'm blaming the government from yesteryear and the years before because Jamaica is the island that's coined the land of wooden water Jamaica has so much water in its surrounding that it's impossible, well it's not impossible, it's unacceptable that the island of Jamaica should ever suffer from water crisis because it just goes to show that Jamaica's politician has their priorities wrong. First and foremost, I don't have to tell people how important water is for drinking, for bathing, for food, for agriculture, water is important people. But I mean, I'm not telling you that's important. I know you already know how water is important. I'm just emphasizing on it that the Jamaican government has their priorities wrong. I don't have any problem in the Jamaican government developing the country for it to look more as a first class society. I'm all for that. But at the same time, water is more important. I was about to say water is just as important. Water is more important because when you think about water, you're thinking about one's health, you're thinking about one's survival. The human body is a great percentage of water. The earth is a great percentage of water. Yes, we've got the seas and we've got ocean and I understand that they're salted water but this is 2019 people it is not acceptable that a country like Jamaica that's in the Caribbean Sea that's surrounded by so much water has water crisis people in some parishes are saying that they're lacking for water in 2019 people still carrying water still people still going to the river to get water people still waiting in water truck to come to their neighborhood this is not acceptable by me and for that reason i'm using my platform to criticize the jamaican government for having jamaica in such state in 2019 i mean Jamaica is a small country. It has a population of no more than 3 million people at any one time on the island. I recently made a research after learning that there was actually a water crisis in Jamaica because like I said before, prior to me being an adult, I had no understanding of how water got to our homes, how water flushed our toilet. I had maybe a tiny idea that we need the reservoir or we need the ocean. Um, I wasn't that naive as a kid. I still knew that in order for us to have water in our pipes, it must rely on some grand source of water. So I recently done a research that gave me a specific perspective on how much water Jamaica would need to comfortably supply everybody at home in Jamaica. Jamaica is 10,992 square kilometers, which is 4,240 square miles. In order for Jamaicans to have 
surplus water and live comfortable like like most places in the world Jamaica would need 1.2 billion liters of water now 1.2 billion liters of water is a lot of water but like I'm saying Jamaica is sitting in the middle of a whole lot of water and there this is 2019 people there are system available where you could actually extract the salt and all the impurities from the water and make it clean drinking water it's not that difficult it's difficult in the sense of money because money you need equipment i mean after doing the research and looking at the things that jamaica would need in place to have surplus water for everyone it was like looking at a recipe to create a meal so i'm gonna run off that recipe to you guys now and let you see what jamaica would need in order to have surplus water for everybody and i'm talking about keeping in mind that we want to extract water from the Caribbean Sea which we will never finish the water in the Caribbean Sea for another hundred thousand years even if we try. First thing first we would need a few dams then we would also need a few water filtration plants then we would need a few reservoirs we would need tens and thousand lengths of water pipes of course we would need a few pumping stations all over the country and we would need to employ people who would operate as health and safety inspectors and managers. Lastly we would need a ton load of chlorine, a ton load of lime and then we would need some caustic soda or some carbon dioxide. That's pretty much the ingredients that I've discovered that we would need in order to establish constant water in people's homes in Jamaica. These things that I just named are in Jamaica but what I'm saying they need to be duplicated in other places in Jamaica so that people can have water in a surplus. Like I say in Jamaica I grew up in the corporate area so I'm quite aware of the Mona Dam. Pretty much that's the only dam that I know of. I would give Jamaica the benefit of the doubt that there are more dams all over the island to supply other people with water but that's pretty much what I know. Again I'm a Kingstonian I just know about the corporate area you guys can fill me in. Either way if there are dams all over the place and reservoir all over the place Jamaica needs to get on its game and get people with water. It's a shame that in 2019 people are still running out of water. That just tossed me all the way back to when I was about 10, 11, 12 years old in Jamaica and I was wondering to myself how much has Jamaica changed? In order for me to get down to the nitty-gritty understanding of what's going on I kind of rely on the media or people through my YouTube channel and other social media platforms. I take Jamaica for its good and its bad and while I'm outside of Jamaica I do keep abreast on what's going on in Jamaica and use my voice and my platform and my writing to try to right any wrong in Jamaica or try to help Jamaicans living in Jamaica to strengthen the law and the order and the civil rights and the human rights of the people. Anyway people that is my Jamaica rant for the day but hold on before I leave today I have decided that on my channel in appreciation of my subscribers I'm gonna start to inject a big up segment on my channel because it's my way I want I want to find as many ways as possible to give back to my subscribers because I appreciate you guys and I want you guys to know that I don't take you for granted whether you agree with me whether you don't agree with me whether you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or whether you just watch and do not do anything else. I appreciate the views, I appreciate the subscription because it makes me feel as if what I'm doing is worthwhile doing. So today's big up segment goes to big up to a channel called In Jamaica. In Jamaica is a channel that I'm big enough and I hold a whole lot of respect for In Jamaica because it's a YouTube channel that has promoted my YouTube channel on its channel and I respect 
in Jamaica for that. So big up in Jamaica. I want to also big up Chad Murdoch. And the last big up for the day is a channel called Priceless Official. Yeah, that's pretty much it for today, people. I hope you guys enjoy this one. You know, as usual, I look forward to you guys comment and as you know, I appreciate agreement, disagreement, thumbs up and thumbs down because like I always say, each one teach one. Until next time, people. Peace.